<laughs> We're so late. Sorry. Hey. And try to kill himself with the stove. No, that's not what happened. It was... He didn't try to. <laughs> it's scary. This we had a scare. Who's the who's our early birds? Check in. Early birds check in. What? What? What are you laughing? Yeah. It's just funny. Early birds check in. Everybody check in. All right, we're clearing the rack. Should we do flat lay or what? Yeah, yes, yeah. Marcus first. Mark and Tim and Chrissy and Fiona and Amanda and Jen and Alicia. You better answer that call. It's the same person. <laughs> Mark says, sorry, I never get to do that. Yes, you do. Dan keeps getting the phone call from the same number. Oh, no, I think it's his mom. There's German happening. Oh, we have Echo. Hey, Christina. Why do we have Echo? I don't know how to fix it. Shouldn't have Echo. My volume is off. We should be okay. Oh, no. I'm trying to talk so there's not an echo. Oh no. Did I fix it? Wait, now did I fix it? Where's our comments? Oh my god, y'all, I fixed something? Okay. Mm, mm, mm. All right. You need tech support? I'll be here all night. Apparently, I know how to tech things. Hey, Jacqueline. Man, I fixed it. No, I got it. I got it. I don't need tech support. You know, the other day, tech support was on the phone, too. And my mom asked me if I could do it. And I did. I don't remember what it was, but I fixed it. So I just need a little, you know. I have to add it to the resume. I mean, really. Okay. Watching, taking photos. Got it. Hi. I'll yell through the TV. I'll be like, hey, jackass like that and then everyone will be like who are you talking to and he'll be like i got it i got a talent what can i say just saying all right so we're gonna list i think we're gonna do some flat lays maybe some i don't know we're just gonna we're clearing this rack off today um before this dan got really sick when we was cooking dinner on our flat top we have a flat top Ooh, swiss cake rolls <laughs> Mm. We only have Germans here. We've got German chocolate cake only here. Dan's on the phone with his mom. There's a lot of German happening behind the scenes. And anyway, he was cooking on the flat top. We have like a Denny's type flat top situation. You know what I mean? On our stove. We have an industrial stove. And he got really sick. He was like, I feel woozy. I feel. And he went to the other room he felt like dizzy and nauseous i'm like oh my god you carbon monoxide poisoning yourself and damn if he didn't mm -hmm. as soon as he went away he felt better so we gotta get our stove checked out it does set off the carbon monoxide you know when he grows too long on it it sets off the alarm sometimes it didn't set off the alarm but it set off his alarm and as soon as he left the room he was okay but i think he almost killed himself not good German chocolate cake is my weakness. Mm. <laughs> I was up cake. He's out there talking. He's still talking. 
Uh, anyway, I haven't tried to clean this coat yet. I might try to clean this suede coat or maybe not. I'm going to comp it and see. We did list some things today during the day, which is exciting. Uh, I did a draft for the Molly doll. Um, a purse that I cleaned the other night and something else. And then Dan listed three pairs of sunglasses. So we have something to start the weekend off with, which is good. Hey, Gretchen. Yeah, we're just, I don't know. We need to get it checked out. Ooh, get a trimming cake. What's going on? Is she okay? Yeah, just asking the same stuff. I'm like, I don't know, got her calm down a little bit. What's the number she's calling from? I guess that's the landline. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save that in the view of my contacts here. <laughs> so I know what that is. Yeah, Dan's German mom's name is Helga. How good is that? How good is that? When he told me, he's like, he was talking to her, and I was like, oh, what's your mom's name? When I first met him, he she, he was like, I can't say it. <laughs> I was like, what is it? He was like. It's Helga. I was like, oh, <laughs> so German. It really is. So German. Like, that's her actual. I said, is that her actual name? <laughs> you have to reset your quality, Gretchen. I don't know why. Somebody said qualities. Yeah, your connection might have been not, not the best. Hey, what's happening? Well, I had to mute it. We had an echo. I fixed it. Okay, mute your mic. Mute, mute, mute your microphone. We had an echo. Yeah, I fixed it though. Don't don't mess with it. I already fixed it. Tech support was here. This, this microphone's better. And you turned it off. Well, it was an echo. Well, okay. Hey, Zero. See, you just gotta refresh it. <clears throat> Is he? Oh. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, about that. Um, call a plumber to set the air gap. And I knew Kyle would know. What did I say? <laughs> Literally <laughs> walking back here, tell him what I said. He's like, Kyle, Kyle knows. <laughs> I was like, you almost killed yourself with a carbon dioxide. I bet Kyle knows what to do. <laughs> it's just the one side, though. So I think the one side needs a new, might need a new thing. Because the burners themselves are fine. It only doesn't want to use the, the griddle side. So it's got this big, long, you know, burner that heats up these. I don't know if it, if it even works at 100%. So that might be the issue. It's like a combo broiler griddle thing. Uh, James, you're being paged to the, the chat. By Christy, I'm just letting you know. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. See, she can't hear me. Let's try switching it again. See if we still got an echo. How about now? Okay. Wow. What I was saying before is both mics were on on your computer. So I just turned I only, one up. I only have one mic on my computer. No, no. Both of the windows were. Oh. You didn't. I fixed it, though. We fixed it. So what I was saying about the stove, <laughs> it only... The, the, the burners themselves, I think, are fine. It only does it on the... They're saying Echo's back. I'm telling you, I fixed it before. Well, I have you muted. I don't know why. Uh, lame. Everybody have an Echo still? He said orifices. He sure did. Just talk louder. Yeah, she says the echo is back. Why won't you accept that I fixed it? I'll just have to scream from over here. <laughs> she says it's only when I talk. It's just me. It's just me. That's so weird. I don't know. Everything's muted over here. Everything. It could be the restream. We should only be using your mic now. Only this mic. Hello, mic check, check one, two, check, 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 check. Hello. <laughs> you guys don't want to hear what I have to say three times because it's all fixed. See? The way I had it. Yours was all jacked up. All right, all right. 
I'll restart the computer this weekend. This weekend? <laughs> I like it. Or if it's a used high-end stove, that it is. It is. It could have the profane orifices. It's a it's an imperial 36 inch and it's got the griddle broiler unit on the left and then the four burners on the right. I don't know. Alicia said, Dan, are you sure you're okay? Maybe you should lay down. <laughs> Maybe I should. Nah, you felt okay. Nah, I'm, all, I'm back to good. He was not feeling good for a hot minute. Literally. I'm not sure that it's with the stove that killed him, but I think it was the stove that tried to kill him. <laughs> it was literally a hot minute. He was like, oh, oh, I, had to, I had to go stand under the air conditioner vent. He was like, like, I'm a bomb. Uh... And then he was fine, and that doesn't happen. When you're about to vom, you vom. But he was fine once he got out of the stove arena. So I was like, uh-oh. And we know that that stove has a little bit of an issue. I'm sure it's a bigger issue than we're acting like. So we should get it fixed. But who do you call? Kyle, come fix our stove. I don't know why I thought Kyle would know, and then he knew. <laughs> I don't even know what you do for like other work other than reselling. I have no idea. But I literally walked in the hallway, and I'm like, I'll just ask Kyle. <laughs> he was like, what? Just ask Kyle. He'll know. It's like, Kyle will know. He was the first person to comment. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Just ask Kyle. God. Oh. And you were here. It was all, it was just like, I couldn't have planned it any better. Nope. Is that serendipitous, actually? Stove busters. <laughs> Stove busters. <laughs> Um, Kyle is not sure it's vintage. If it's vintage. I had to go check. I'll try to fill you in. Wait, Tim, why do you say any carbon? We have a carbon monoxide detector in the same room. So, like, if it gets really bad, I think it would pick it up, right? It does, but it's gone off before. What are you saying? It could be maybe a different carbon in the air that it's picking up from the stove not necessarily carbon monoxide oh maybe that's what he's saying any carbon monoxide problem is a problem oh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i think our alarm would go off stove's off now well i mean like we turned it you know what i'm saying <laughs> the pilot light's still on probably right does our pilot light stay on on that stove it have, it's got electronic igniters Oh, it's got an electronic igniter. Except that Dan lights it with a lighter sometimes. It's sometimes. fine. It's all good. <laughs> if you don't see us here, you know what happened. Sometimes Yikes. It gets flooded. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> Alicia says her husband can fix it. He can fix anything. Send him on over. You guys don't live here, though, do you? Wait, you don't live here. Kyle's a contractor. But he doesn't work. I like it. Perfect. Sounds like my dad. That's how it's done. He's a pro at that. I got a hole in the butt. Butthole? That's going our pants. Yeah. Why is there holes in everything? Oh, at least you live in Houston. Where would you like me to put these? I don't I don't know. You gotta put a piece of painter's tape on the hole so I can we can take it to dry clean or something. Okay. You can try to fix it. Can we get are you going to sell it with a holy butt? <laughs> Fiona said, just to be safe, you should only eat out for safety reasons, you know, like every night. Right, totally. Totes. Oh, excuse me. And Melissa also said, it's probably best if you guys just don't cook anymore. <laughs> That's funny. We're getting pokey tomorrow night, so don't worry about us tomorrow night. <laughs> Sunday, I don't know. Can't just not cook anymore. That ruins everything. We're it's, keto. We cook everything. And when I said we, Dan, Me. I do not cook. It was the best thing. Like the first year we got married, I like taught him how to cook, and then then I didn't have to cook anymore. Ladies, take notes. Ha ha ha. Never again. Although you did, you did have some things down. You're pretty good at some yeah. some arenas. Yeah. It was just like. Basically Italian stuff. <laughs> yeah. The meatballs. Oh. I taught him how to make meatballs and matzo balls. It was all good. 
That's all you need. Hey, hey Cynthia. Turn a little hole in the cup. I'm Robert Downing Jr. I know. You. I, know. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. Here. I mean, still list them. They're new with tags. Yeah. Just right. say they got a hole. At least make sure it's not a hole in the butt. No hole in the butt. <laughs> oh, Cynthia, I have been there. She got caught in a YouTube channel of a guy mowing lawns and pressure washing. <laughs> I wash those pressure washing ones. Oh, it's, it's so good, but so bad. Y'all told me to go watch Lobster, and I fell asleep watching this crazy crap. <laughs> I came to bed, and she's all talking. How is Lobster yeah. watching Lobster? <laughs> I was like, what are you it saying? It was horrible. Y'all don't make me go watch that. Don't do this. <laughs> Who told me to do that? I learned stuff I never wanted to learn in my life. Don't No. No. <laughs> no. Just no. Oh, we just relisted this. Bam, sold. So, what happened? I sold a Deletta shirt. I just relisted for way lower of a price. Okay. You know, sometimes when your stuff's not selling, it's just price too high. That's what I'm going to go ahead and say. What? Why did you guys tell me to watch this? I'm sorry, if lobsters ever watching here, but I'm just. I... You don't get it? It's no, it was <laughs> fine. It was fine, and I'm. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't... Um. There was nothing reseller related about it. <laughs> wasn't all. wasn't that wasn't that a given? Didn't they say it was not reseller related? At you all? never know what you're gonna get. Yeah. You never know what you can get here either. That's that's true. But we will actually try to work <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I don't think there's ever been an, a lot in the night where we haven't done any work at all. Yeah, we always do work. Oh man, got two, Mister. I don't know if this is a good brand or not. This is a pair of pants we picked up on an accident. No, I got them from the estate sale. I know, but I got them on an accident. Or you got yeah. them on an accident. Do you say on a accident or just by on? Accident. Oh, by accident. By? That's what I say. You say by? Yeah. I think I say on, but the, I think I added a, a. But it should be an accident. <laughs> okay. Okay. On accident, by accident. Like, can you turn on my computer? Sure. Hey. No, no, no. This guy is a reseller. This isn't an actual lobster guy. <laughs> I think he's a reseller. I don't know. I watched it last night and fried my brain. Shouldn't have done it. You had questions? It was questionable. <laughs> I think I was warned that it would be questionable. <laughs> yeah. Somebody warn me harder next time. All right. It's also because I was falling asleep. So I just kept hearing these weird phrases. Like, what? What? Who? What? <laughs> Cindy said, oh, I watched an actual lobster. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The weirdest stuff the algorithm recommends. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's Marissa, right? Isn't this the brand? Yes. They're not Aunt Taylor Marissa. Like, it's the actual... It's, I believe it's Marissa Collection. Marissa Collection. Let me, let me check it out here. Okay, okay, okay. Just I'll give you all the info that I can. That's on the tag. <clears throat> Marissa Collections. <clears throat> Classic pinstripe. Pinstripe. <laughs> Cuff pants. Your size. No, I think these are QVCs. Duo. They're called the Duo. Four hundred twenty-two dollars. What? Yep. That's crazy. They're yep. not QVC. It was wrong. One hundred percent wool, made in France. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I was wrong. Maybe the tag is from the boutique or something. Yeah. It, it says Old Naples, Florida on it. Does it have like another brand? <clears throat> I don't know. Let me check it really good. Oops. Another haul. Holy McColsters. 
I can't find an offer these anywhere. <laughs> okay. If anyone wants to see a guy keep a grocery store lobster as a pet, it's Brady Brandwood. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, so I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Rescued it from the grocery store. You're my friend now. Do they still have the rubber bands on his little <laughs> claws? Me, me, me. I'm just wondering... Shop Marissa's collection store online. I will. Thank you very much. Oh, Marissa Collections has a list. Isn't that a resale platform? What is a list? Yeah, it could be. With a Y? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> she got nice stuff. This has got to have a different brand. Size 18. Start when he gets it. Yes, he cuts them off. <laughs> what are we listing? Man, time suck. The rubber yeah. bands. Got it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see any other tags. I see a size tag and the tag of fabric and care tag is there rn number mm -hmm. this is a time suck and it has holes in it what's that say i don't know duo maybe it's duo maybe that's the brand yeah it's in bold duo nothing maybe up. google duo made in france pants and then oh, after that we just got to make it up have an allergy attack again. You're just gonna have to make it up. Something back here I'm allergic to. Because when I was back here earlier, my throat started itching, my eyes, my ears. I'm allergic to something. We unearthed something. Oh no. That's not good. And no. my allergies are like, no ma'am. And no. as soon as I left, it went no, away. No. There's not, this is just not even, we should not be listing this. No. <laughs> Alicia's going to list something tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Megan. Mm. I don't see, you just keep going and I just... So well, do you want me to just not and just? I mean, I can try to list them, but like, I don't know if they're ever gonna sell. Okay, like, okay. ever. Because we don't, we really don't know what they are. Hey, Sal. Yeah, I have no idea how to list these things. Well, that's sad. Uh, and they have holes in them. You know what I mean? Bye. Sorry. Somebody will love them. In the right book, the hard way. No, I know, but. We're down to the dregs, man. Yeah, and I need I need arms for this thing for sure. What even is this? I don't know. Do what? we want to list this? No, thing? we don't want to list this thing. Get out of here. This What's is one way to create a right? It was Donna Karen. Wait, could this be a reseller cape? Uh oh, cape. I love a cape, especially when I'm hot. Girl, I got myself a cape. Uh oh, perfect. Twisty cape too. <laughs> Happy Friday. You got a cape and everything. There you go. Smell like grandma, but it's oh, fine. no. It's very, very grandma right now. <laughs> but you know what? It has like open hole, you know, it's open knit what and are it's you doing with these pants. Are we listing these pants? All right, measure the inseam. Okay, hold it up to my crotch. Oh lord. Let me see if these are gonna fit me. These are gonna be way too long. Look. Oh, but they might not be. Look, they're gonna go up to my boobs. All right. <laughs> you pick some, I'm gonna go try them on. Right. This is important. It is important. Might come back looking like Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know. We're having a lot of fun on a Friday, not getting a lot of work done, but whatever. Oh man, this thing needs sweat. 
sweater shaved badly. Too, oh. All right, I can flat with this thing. She's going to hate it, but got to do it. Got to do it. Okay. They don't fit me. Boo. Okay, but the good thing is, I What's think they're the, worth a lot of money. That is a good thing. Oh, this is worth a lot of money too, I think. Well, yeah, theoretically. Okay, so these have been hemmed, but I think that might be a good thing because the original ones are super long and these are just like regular long. Okay. So I think it might be a good thing that they're hemmed. It's because then somebody doesn't have to hem them. You feel? I feel. I have to figure out how to set up these giant lights in my bed. In your bed? What's happening, Alicia? Gonna need you to explain a little bit more. I right, can you, uh... bro? What are you doing? I'm trying to. Oh, that looks weird. Somebody's never worked retail, and it shows. What are you doing? <laughs> are you just trying to get the whole shirt on here. Yeah. Okay, well, you're, you were spinning the wrong direction. You were Got barking it. up the wrong tree. Got it. That was your goal. Also, why don't you just, like, not do this so high? Because this would, like, just be regular if you just, like, regular it. But then you don't have to lean over. I don't have to lean over like that. I'm going back. Okay, well, then now it's going to be all <laughs> shysty. Hey, yeah, you were just going the wrong way. I went to an estate sale earlier and overpaid for a few things Got because it. I felt guilty for looking at everything and not wanting to buy anything. Why am I like this? I do the same thing. <laughs> same thing at yard sales. I can't go to yard sales. I know it's a big part of people's businesses. I cannot do it. I feel guilty not buying anything and then I buy crap because I feel guilty. And I never list it because I don't want it. I never wanted it in the first place. Here I am. Y'all, I can't do yard sales. And everybody wears a GoPro. I can't even step into someone's yard. Much less step into somebody's yard with a GoPro. <laughs> right? Could you imagine? I would die. With a thing strapped to your, your... Hey! More power to people that could do it. I would be hiding under a bush mm -hmm. somewhere. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Okay. That looks, that looks okay, right? Like that? Yeah, kind of. This one's a little low in comparison. Whew. I'm here to pump you up. <laughs> Literally spent $12 on some shiny bright ornaments and they are all scratched up. <laughs> I would have done the same. Amanda, same. I would have done the exact same thing. Christina went and found some good vintage stuff. What? Y'all, the yard sales here also suck so bad. No, I don't understand. It's so weird. Like, it's, like, why are you even having a sale? You are selling your trash. Yeah, you should be throwing most of the stuff away on both trash, which is coming. We're about we're gonna about to spend the weekend throwing all of our trash away into our front yard. Oh, it's gonna be great. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> I did some this morning before it got to be 115 degrees. He was sweating. He was sweating. Poor little guy. <laughs> Love a Finnamore Napoli shirt. You should take a picture and send it to Frank of the label. Can we do that? Already? No. Really? I sent it to him up from the website <coughs> when okay. I found it. Found it. All right. I'm going to stop talking. Shh. All right. Is this a casual shirt? I'm not really seeing much cash in their repertoire here. I know, right? I don't, I mean, I don't think so. Megan said, I feel so awkward at yard sales. Same. 
Rusty Bucket went to a church rummage sale. Rummage sale. The ladies know I resell, so we're checking comps and filing box and filling boxes for me. That's amazing. Oh my god, that's so good. Should have been trash, exactly. Love church rummage sales. The people and the prices are always amazing. I've never been to a church rummage sale in my life. I've got severe neuropathy in my legs and feet since about 18 months ago. I've been in bed for about a year just wanting to get approved for social security disability. Totally. I can't believe we haven't been approved yet. So you're going to try to list from your bed. We need to get you some kind of like wheelie legs out situation. I'm all about accommodations for disabilities. We can invent you something. Kyle will do it. He's a contractor. It doesn't work. Kyle, we need you. Alicia has neuropathy and she needs to list. Can we make her a contraption? You'll hear me. It's good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do what you got to do to get comfortable, though, for real. For real, for real. For real. This is not sized like a dress shirt. It's a cash. Yeah. What size is it? Large. Oh, my God. So soft. God, it's this nice shirt. He said, No, I'm not building anything. <laughs> Fine. Isn't gabapentin what they give to pets? I didn't know it was a human drug. Hmm. Mm. Who knew? But yes, it is. Oh, you have a rolling flat lay? Show us a picture. Put it in the group. We got to know. Nice. I think fish sweater. <laughs> yes. Wait, what size did you say? Large. This came from the bins. I can't even believe that. I know, but the actual resale isn't that great. Uh, isn't that... Well. I know. It's so lame. I'm going to price it high. I know what I got. <laughs> No mo. Rare red herring day. But it's for a fellow reseller who needs it. Actually, she's in um Houston, so it's probably on my watch. I should do it. Alicia, I'm gonna build you something. I'm a builder. Uh -oh. Hey, don't say it like I'm not a builder. That was rude. No, I mean like, <gasps> uh -oh, as in, like you're gonna have another project. I know, but you said it as if I couldn't do it. Oh, you could absolutely do it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't even what's the what's the um, material on that? One hundred percent cotton. It's regular old like cotton. Regular old cotton, but it's like butter. Butter. Is it uh chevron? Herring bone. Herring bone. Button shirt. <laughs> Front shirt. Boom. 80. Okay, what's there the number? Huh? What's the number? 5575. I found Eskandar two weeks ago. It was my first time finding it at the thrift. So I believe that you can find it. Uh, but it's not the be all and end all. We found things that are worth way more. Eskandar is on whole, you know, worth a lot, but I would. I would just look up, based on the things we tell you and based on the things you know from your own instinct, look up everything. Start playing that game in your thrifting. Do not walk out of the store with it unless you've looked it up. And I know that takes a lot of discipline. And some of y'all some of y'all going to have to leave the store to look it up and then come back in. I know it's loud because it's my microphone. Y'all made me turn off Dan's microphone because it was echoing. You see, that's what had happened. So now my typing's gonna be loud. I'm gonna sound like who was typing loud the other night? James was typing loud. Clackety. What's the next size? So you get you either get loud clacking or okay. you get an echo. What do you everybody vote? <laughs> this is all you have here. It's all we can do. I'll try to I'll try to be less clacky. Sixteen and a half. Okay. 
Now I'm whispering. I'm <laughs> nervous. I'm nervous. Is it a button down color? No. Is it a spread? I actually put the wrong thing. I think it's a spread color. It's European. It's got to be. No. Is it not? I don't think that's far enough to be spread. I think it's just a point. Your mom's not far enough to be spread. Oh. 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 <laughs> Burn! Tommy, too soon. He almost died tonight. We had a run-in. We had a run-in with the carbon monoxide. <laughs> he said... Can you make the echo sound like Darth Vader? I love it. Dan can definitely do that. I go right on there. Gretchen was like, can you make it like it was before, like every other night? Yeah, but we'd have to shut the stream down because Dan needs to reboot his stupid PC because it's his PC. Stupid reboot. <laughs> so we'd have to shut everything down so you'll have to deal tonight. I'm sorry. We got traumatized. Whatever doesn't make Dan irate, again, is what I prefer. I'm still traumatized. Stop. <laughs> That's what Tommy said. <laughs> you stop. You get out of here. Man. He flipped out. <laughs> <laughs> What's the chest size? Uh, fitty. Why did he flip out? Oh, my God. It was so good. I feel, I feel another one coming. Do you? <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> he said, I feel it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, is it handmade? I just put I no, mean, but I think probably. it might be. Yeah, I'm in. Totes. Yeah, it's Gucci da Amano. <laughs> there you go. But you have to say it with your hand in the air. Yeah, Gucci yeah. Da Amano. there you go. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound the same. Otherwise. I love that they made that emoji on there. I know. Mm. <laughs> Oh, Gretchen missed it. What did she miss? Your flip out. Uh, he missed it. I admit it. It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go back and watch every live. <laughs> it was the end of his tolerance break. You were here. <laughs> you were upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so funny everyone was asking him to stay longer because it was like a night like this where everybody's just chilling and we we're talking I'm like can't you just stay a little longer and Jim was like, <laughs> I lost it. he lost it he's like why do i have to explain myself <laughs> <laughs> sorry tommy tommy's having <laughs> flashbacks oh god ah, ah. and i start cracking up because dan's flipping out and everybody in the chat was like, oh. And I'm crying over here laughing. True story. Crying. Not concerned at all. I was like, oh. Is this how this is going to go now? I'm crying again. I'm crying again. Thinking about it, literally. Uh... Everyone wants you to do it again. Nope. Oh, Megan's uh, application was rejected to whatnot. What? How they don't want you to make money? I don't get it. I don't get it. Danny's more motivation. He needs something. He was he was like, I'm out of tolerance break. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's quoting you. He probably recorded it. He's probably got it on the I'm loop. Sure. <laughs> I can't. He's like, what do you think? I do nothing all day. <laughs> it's sampled. I'm on a soundboard. <laughs> Wait till Tommy's podcast comes back and someone's going to say something and it's going to be Dan. What do you think? I do nothing all day. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm calling it. <laughs> and then instead of instead of what's his bucket, we were on a break. It's going to be Dan the next night. I'm on a tolerance break. Oh, my God. I can't. Woo. Oh, yeah. The Dr. Martin's Wonderball song is good. It's uh, good. 
Oh no, Megan was reminded of childhood trauma. We need to stop. Oh, that's so good. There's a lot of people getting denied. They're being more picky as there's an influx of people not bringing in as much money as they anticipated. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I have not decided I'm going to do what not was accepted, but the fees are too high if you sell low dollar items. Mm. I put it on my soundboard right next to the dolphin sounds. I knew it. <laughs> no, no, this happened to Dan like when Gretchen was here. So two <laughs> two weeks ago <laughs> happened to Dan. <laughs> Dan happened to it. <laughs> Something happened to Dan. Oh, my God. I was like, it was me goading him. And he, <laughs> yeah. like, snapped. I lost it. Because I was like, bruh, just, like, stay. It's fine. We're just talking. Like, why can't you stay? <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, just stay. Then. <laughs> what do you think? I do nothing all day. <laughs> I like, Whoa. I literally said that out loud in the stream. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna be on that show Snap next, and I'll be dead on the ground. <laughs> Snapped uh, HLN Network. <laughs> Somebody please make this meme right now. No, don't do it. Do it. Snapped in Dan's head. <laughs> Good. They are onboarding sixty people a day. Man, I don't. Is it wrong that I just don't care? I just don't care. <sighs> what's up krillin we're just making fun of dan as usual it's been pretty fun stop oh god <laughs> what if he has a breakdown again <laughs> he's gonna cry this one's gonna be an emotional one we had a near-death experience before we got here so emotions and tensions are high <laughs> stove tried to kill dan with carbon monoxide something Woo. Found my first Brioni. Uh -oh. Literally said out loud, thank you, Amy and Dan, and put it in my cart. Yes. That's going to be a good one. That's what I said. I said the same thing. What? I said, if I'm on stuff, I better be at the casino. Yeah. He said he'd rather go to this casino and give money away than doing whatnot. I feel yeah. the same way. Yeah. If you fix it and give money away, I better be having some fun again. Some ding 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 dings. Exactly. Heidi. We play this. Oh, we play this not. German uh, slot machine. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Heidi's beer house. It's so great. And it sings to us in German, and we just love it so much. <laughs> Dan sits there like he's in the homeland. <laughs> oh, and then we win the bonus rounds, and Hans comes by, and he like fills up your beers. That's so good. Oh. Heidi has much of our money. She's basically a dependent. Ooh. Oh, Peter Millar Summer Comfort. Nice. I guess it's the fees plus 30, 30 cents transaction fee. But if someone buys 10 items, they don't com they don't combine that it's 10 trans. I heard they did combine. I don't know. I haven't watched it. I need to shut my mouth. I have nothing to say. Or a strip club. <laughs> they pretend to like me for a few bucks. What is happening? Kids Deals and Moors loves the Heidi machine. Yes, yes, yes. Did you get the pictures? Yeah. Okay. And Heidi has a sister. There's one. Oh, there's one with her sister. With That's her right. sister. She's purple on, whatever. She's brown hair, not white hair. I mean, blonde hair. Hannah. Hannah. Heidi, Heidi and Hannah. Hannah. Hi. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. What is this? It. What is the freaking song? I know you know. Let's go to Heidi's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. No, that's it. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Man, man, man. Labor case sandwich. Come down to Heidi's. That's what it is. It's that's come down it. to come Heidi's. On, come on down. Come on down to Heidi's. Okay, I'm stopping now. Yes. Uh, I have a video of me winning a bunch of money on that machine and it's yeah. singing, and I'm like, yeah. It's great. Great times, great times. All right, we've listed one, one thing, thing. but we listed during the day today. I told Dan to save drafts and he didn't, I didn't so do it. I didn't do it. he can't remember shiz. True, uh, do you remember what you paid for this thing? 
Yes, it was three ninety nine. So that minute it was it was one ninety nine. And it was new with tags. You guys, don't you love that when you open it up, you take the price tag off, and then the actual retail tag is in there. And you're like, retail price. Yes. I mean, it's a plain old something, but it should have the style number, and we should be able to list it pretty quickly. Yeah, and then we can try to figure out why Eileen Fisher does that stupid thing with her style language. Oh yeah. What is this thing? Is it a skirt? It's a skirt. Okay. Jersey. Choicey. Yeah. Cozy viscose stretch. Is that what it's called? Cozy? Yep. I found this at the thrift. I didn't get all Eileen Fisher at the freaking estate sale, which people think. Eileen Fisher, cozy what? Viscose stretch. It makes, me, it makes me mad when people make assumptions. I mean, I got it right here. Okay. It's not the best stock photo, though. Maybe I should, you know. I'll check it out on the Google. So on the retail tag, the style number says F6CZ dash S. F, okay, F, F6. F6CZ dash uh -huh. S2102M. Okay, and then I compare that to the tag. And it's called, it actually has a, a name. Mm. It's called the fold over knee length skirt. Okay, but compare that number. So the number that's on the mm -hmm. care tag. Mm -hmm. F16 CZ. F16. Well, it just says FCZ is what you told me. No, F6 CZ is on the right. retail tag. And so the other one has a one in front of it? It does. But I wonder if I just look up F. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, F6 CZ. Yeah. yeah. That comes up with a mock neck dress. How weird. Anyway, actual retail price $168. Yes. <clears throat> yes, they're done. Yes. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh. Danica is singing the Heidi song. Yes, <laughs> she knows the whole thing. All right. Come on down to Heidi's. Come. I don't remember the tune. Come join us for a beer. I remember this song though, very into my heart. <laughs> oh, she's doing the whole thing. Yes, yes. And when you come to Heidi's, you'll want to sing along. Everyone's had so much fun. You're right where you belong. Hey. Yes. Okay. Oh, I hate to bring this up. Uh oh. This is gonna trigger Dan. So I assume that the certain someone that said they were going to make 30,000 today on t-shirts was telling fib yeah. i'm so torn on what's real versus fake news who said this i told you he's hard he's chris he said he was gonna make 30 grand on t-shirts yeah remember i told you the thing i got the thing popped up and it was like wholesale lot of three thousand new tags shirts for ten dollars a piece should easily go for 30 plus or something. Oh my God. And as soon as I saw that pop up, I'm like, no. Gretchen, I wish you would have gotten a clothes rack for my house. We have a million. Oh, I'm so mad. Danica says Heidi is a money grubbing hoe. Hey, Do you, did us. you go to the Heidi? No, not all the time. <laughs> not all the time. That's true. That's true. Did you go to the Heidi in uh, Oklahoma at the, what do you call that place? Windstar? The Windstar. That one's hit or miss. Uh, I don't know if he made 30 grand today. I don't, I just don't know. I, I, I don't know. There's a lot of people that follow him. So maybe. I don't know, man, that whole bacon 10, and eggs, that mm. whole 10 into 30 thing just doesn't, doesn't sound appealing to me. Is there anyone on YouTube that has a manifesto on women's wear? Okay. So I have not um, looked at the old manifesto, but there's a, Bob's has one on anthropology, right, Tommy? Isn't it just anthropology? No, they're just regular stupid shirts. <laughs> this comment will make 30K in 30 minutes, maybe. Maybe. That's what James said. <laughs> maybe. You just don't know. When Circus Hino is on my bucket list, I will get there one day. <laughs> Why is that your bucket list? 
We sure you're leaving? She said, sorry, goodbye. <coughs> What's happening? Are you leaving? What happened? What do we do? <laughs> I watched Bob's new anthropology vid. I played on the cruise 12 Bloody Marys and Heidi. Oh, God, I hope our cruise does not have Heidi. That will be dangerous. Come on, Heidi. The meltdown machine at River Wine Casino in Oklahoma is my gold mine. Oh my God, that's funny. I don't know. I thought she used Matt's outline and did a women's one. Maybe it's not finished. She did one for, it, it's women's wear, but it's anthropology brands only. I leave, but I never say bye. I'm rude. <laughs> Cynthia, <laughs> you're fine. You are just fine. Everyone's fine. You can do whatever you want to. There's no rules except that I should be listing this skirt right now. That's knee length? It seems so long. Doesn't it? Um, kind of, yeah. Whose knees are right there? It's literally called the knee length skirt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fold over K slash L skirt. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm going to say something um, questionable. Uh oh. I think it's harder to make a women's wear manifesto than a men's wear one. Because I think women's stuff depends so much on style and men's doesn't. I just said it. I said it. Uh oh, you said it. Because you can't just put a brand. Like, right. these free people pants that we're about to put up here, free people wouldn't make the manifesto, but these pants are worth $150. I don't see that phenomenon as much in menswear since we sell both kind of heavily now. Yeah. It's really hard to say blanket this brand because show me your mumu. Mm -mm. Nope, it wouldn't make my manifesto. No way. Nope, nope, nope. Because a couple of the pieces go for hundreds, but not all of them. Mm -hmm. What size is it? Extra small. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, <laughs> I don't. There's no no good thing to copy here. Oh no. I'm gonna need the. Um, does it have a which jiggy barcode? Oh, shoes. Yeah. <clears throat> One second, please. Any bites on the Sunday Holy Duster? Nope, not yet. No bites. Probably price it too high. It's okay, I can just relist it. I need to filter this by new tags, but I can't find the dang filter anymore. Oh, here we go. It's right here. <laughs> Uh, what did you want to know? The UPC number? Um, yeah, I'm. It's the charcoal cozy, cozy knit one, right? See, these people part mark. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I gotta combine two things <laughs> into one real quick. Okay. okay, okay. So it says, "No stress Friday." No stress Friday. Woo! Woo! Eileen Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> Size extra small. Uh, knee length. Knee length skirt, right? Is that all it's called? I can't remember. I don't like this all caps crap. Ugh. Stop screaming at me how comfortable it is. <laughs> to put brand new all big okay um so tommy agrees i agree women's chins change more than my underwear <laughs> true <laughs> i've yet to find a show me a movie that is worth buying one day i'll find one yeah exactly right clearly i'm drunk and can't chat unless you you can do it we can all do it we got this i thought all caps were bad for seo i don't believe that that's true i don't think seo re recognizes caps 
But I do think it's bad for reading. It's not as easy. I'm a journalism background and it's not as easy to read all caps. So your mind just is like, ah, that's why they don't do headlines in all caps. And all even they take out as many capital letters and headlines as possible, if you ever notice it. And, um, you know, I just don't think it's great. But as far as I know about SEO, which is quite a lot, it just recognizes letters as characters. What's the number? Uh, 5576. But you know what? I'm just a talking head on YouTube, so you can maybe I'm wrong. Often wrong. What's okay? This isn't the lantern skirt. This is just like a pencil skirt. It's fine. Size extra small. Um, sold accent jersey. Visco spandex. Mm, pull on. Vintage no. I get to where the thing is. Ben oh, yeah, says, UPC. Caps don't matter, but punctuation kills SEO. Agreed. I know, and I'm not supposed to use the, the apostrophe in women's or men's, and I always do, and I have to go back. It's like a big thing. Okay. This habit. Mm -hmm. UPC. 713. 713. 259. 313. 313. 646. 646. No match found. Perfect. Wonderful. We're not going to use it. <laughs> After all of that. And the stuff at the end really doesn't matter. Like, I have an exclamation mark at the end. It's not going to hurt anything. <laughs> yes, that, he's right. You guys see me take it out when I remember. But most of the time, I don't remember. Because I have an English degree. You want to talk about all my degrees, Tommy? Did you want to have a discussion about my degrees? <laughs> and anyway, like the punctuation thing is so second nature to me. And so I always have to go oh, back. I literally scroll up. All the scrolling you're seeing me doing is taking punctuation out of my titles every single time. I'm like, ah, I forgot again. And I'm trying to like not let you guys get seasick watching it. I, I cannot not do it. I don't know what it is. Yes, mama. Get the color good on these. You better okay. turn the lights on and everything. Hey, you, yeesh. hey you tell me how to live my life. <laughs> yeesh, hey. I fight you. Oh, my God. Y'all, he's about to go off. <laughs> he's revving up. Oh, look at that under the warm light. Come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're big ones. I'm telling you, these pants are worth the money. They're worth some money. Skirts. Cynthia, ah! <laughs> I put the condition. Y'all saw me put new. Roll the tape. It's coming after me, telling me I didn't, and I did. Put new tags. <laughs> it tell me okay. <clears throat> Tommy's my bestie, but he's being a little hyperbolic. It doesn't kill your listings. Like it's not like they won't. <laughs> it Done. doesn't. It's over. <laughs> They'll never. Nobody will ever see him. Oh my god, these. These people are freaking out. Everyone's <laughs> freaking out. Okay, I leave it in a lot and we still sell things. It's just not a great habit to be in. Okay, I'm going to try to water him down. <laughs> I know what he's saying. Just pack it up and pack it in. Just go home. <laughs> he's like, I never said that. <laughs> I'm rolling the tape. Rolling Roll the it. tape. Roll it. Kills SEO though. You you literally said the word kills, and these people are flipping out about it. <laughs> All right. Look at these. These things really stickies. Yeah. Yeah. 
It happens around here, Tim. If you stay around long enough, you learn something. Every once in a while. And Megan's right. It also takes up real estate. I never said that. <laughs> is, is Tommy about to flip out? <laughs> uh -oh. He's all capsing right now. <laughs> I saw. I saw your clarification. I had not read your clarification. I'll try anything to get off of page five. <laughs> Yeah, um, I actually, I think I told you guys a while ago, three people pull on bell bottom a little bit. Um, I don't know if there is a style number in these. I found them before, though. Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, there here is, they are. Like boom, ba boom, boom, boom. This one's only listed for 71. Dang it. Oh, come on. It's got a really good stock photo going on now. Um, I started putting the size higher up in SEO. Kind of did a deep dive in SEO one day. And you guys know when I do a deep dive, I was in it. And um, I think the size is the order in which people are searching. So I started putting my size further up in the title. And I do think it's helping. A lot of people would disagree with about me because that's not old SEO advice. The new SEO advice that I was looking at was saying, you know, just list stuff as you would search for it. And so I was like, well, I would search for my size first. So I started putting it up front. It's a long-term experiment. We'll see. Bread, gender, size. Same thing. I do the same thing. That's why we the, we the besties. But... I do use the word rare, and I see people complaining about that all the time. Like, I won't click on a listing when it has rare in it. Okay, fine. You're not going to buy my thing. But if it's actually rare, which I try to, you know, I use it a little liberally. But I do think it adds a value. I do. I don't know about HTF because a lot of people don't know what that means. But when you see something and you're scrolling and you see the word rare, and it actually is rare, a rare find, then maybe you're going to buy that one. Because you never know if it'll come up again. But normal, like, eBay sellers see it so much that they think it's, like, stupid. But the people buying our stuff aren't eBay sellers. Uh -uh. You have to put your mind like a, a buyer. And if I'm trying to buy something, like, I'm going to buy the thing that's, if it is, in fact, rare. Okay? I'm not talking about, like, like these pants aren't rare. There's a million comps. But if I can't find, so say somebody's looking for an owl plush. And mine's rare. I can't find a comp on it. It's vintage. I'm just like, rare. And so they're typing in owl stuffed animal for their grandkid. They're going to get the rare one. They're going to be like, this one's better. Better. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. <laughs> just think so. What size are those? Small. Okay. Ultra rare is better. <laughs> I never have enough characters for the ultra. Too clickbaity. How can you be too clickbaity when you're trying to sell something? To me, that's the ultimate goal. To get them to click it and buy it. I'm just having a... We're not fighting. I'm just having a healthy debate here. Because I would love to know anybody else's... Um... So, for example, see, I'm reading this one right here. Free people float away print flare pants butterfly. It's not a butterfly. It's a dragonfly. Velvet pull on extra small. Like, this is all freaking fracking. So I'm going to take this. You'll watch me do this. I do this all the time. Free people is only women's clothing, so I'm not going to put women's, but I'm going to put size small. Float away. I'm going to put float away print flare pants. I'm just a dragon fly, and I'm gonna pull it, pull on here, pull on, pull on. I'm gonna put bell bottoms because that's really trendy right now. Oh, nice. Ah, no punctuation. Pull on bell. They're like uh, stretch. 
Yes. Bell bottom pants. Stretchies, very stretchies. We're literally fishing for humans. 80 characters is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what sellers think. I care what buyers think. Amen. Me too. I use a lot of punctuation. Like, look. <laughs> <laughs> that took me back. I want to make up some rules tonight. If you drink anything, your choice. I got my hospital cup here. As you're listing, and then you smash glass against your office wall, 50% of your items will sell tonight. Perfect. Mm. <coughs> smash. Fishing for humans. Hilarious. As a recruiter and a reseller, I deeply feel that statement. <laughs> yes, I have. 100%. Not 100%. That's not what I mean. I don't know the actual number. I have definitely noticed an increase in sales since putting the size earlier. I used to put the size at the very end, and the very end is not picked up by a lot of SEO. A lot of SEO stops around 60 characters. So it was missing that part. And when people were searching, if they just put in free people small, my thing was only picking up the free people part of what they were searching. So it wasn't a direct hit. I'm going to talk about it like DNA now. <laughs> And uh, I think it was hurting me. I do. I can't prove it, but I think it was hurting me. And our closed sales, if you watch our What Sold videos from then until now, the let's list it. Got to get it listed. The, the closed sales have improved dramatically. I do promote more, and we have started listing more closed. So those might be factors. So that's why I say I can't prove it. I just feel it. And I can prove, you know what I can prove? That sometimes I'll take someone else's listing that has a title in the end and I'll copy it. In fact, I copy most people's listings and it'll be the same size and everything and mine will sell and I'll price it higher and it'll sell before their sells. <laughs> it happens all the time. I think they're not seeing their listing. Or maybe it's just Dan's glorious pictures. Could be. Could be. Yeah. What's the inseam of these pants? What? It's a tearaway. Easy access when you're at a festival and you need to get busy. Jesus. <laughs> it's from the hippie days. Duh. <laughs> Dan in the skirt. He can't have it out. It's convertible. <laughs> oh, really? Into what? I don't know. <laughs> I think Dan should have modeled those pants. Yes. I do too. Just catch up on comments here. Maybe they're on page five or 13. You got to pay to play, baby. Yes, Jill. Jill has two. Move that size up, baby. I'm never going to kill you for asking anything. Hey, Ange. Um, don't kill me for asking, but... Don't you do your measurements as you are photographing? Why don't you weigh them and add them to your sheet? Uh, what, which, uh, why don't you weigh them and add them to, to the little ticket that we have? I would never kill you for asking this. Um, we do weigh things that we need to weigh. Like all this stuff that we just listed is less than a pound, so we don't need to weigh it. So when we're doing jeans and stuff, we do weigh it. The scale's right here. You can't see it because Dan's probably blocking it. Yeah. We do weigh it. I just don't... Um, we just don't want to package it and measure the packaging. Yeah, we don't want to measure. The weight The weight part's fine. Oh, God. I'm like, just wait. Just wait. <laughs> God. He's trying to use the remote and sneezing all over me. God. I need a freaking poncho. God. What the hell? It's like a splash zone. Whoa! 
All right. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Oh God! Ooh. I struggle paying the high promoted. I know, but you kind of got to. Do you sell on Poshmark? You know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm gonna say. It's the same. The fees are the same. What is the number on the bell bottoms? Fifty-five seventy-seven. I better put the end scene. What is it? Thirty-one. I don't need the word flare because I'm putting the inseam here. This is not going to help with SEO, but when someone wants to click on these, these pants were hemmed to an average inseam, which I think is actually a pretty good selling feature because they're real free people pants are like 36 inches or something. They're meant to like drag all over the ground. And it's just, I think somebody's going to be like, oh, those are already hemmed. Perfect. Instead of this, I'm going to say already professionally. I'm see what I did there. See what I did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> that is a selling feature, right? Oh, you never do. She never puts. Package dims if priority or first class poly bugs. Hmm. I mean, maybe you don't have to. I know, totally. That happens. Like every time you live on a coast, it goes to one, the other coast. I've heard that happen. Like, I know that. I think it's just, it's just where you live and everybody's different. Whatever works for you works for you. It's cool. There are zero tags on this thing, right? I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what we can find here. Okay. Can I feel this and see if it's a bark cloth? Sure. One second. Here you go. It's not I'm very slow moist. You know what I bet this is for is you can um raise it when you're dancing. Mm -hmm. This is like dirty dancing. Just twirl it around. Oh my gosh, this is very this wouldn't fit it's me. This one, wow, that would not fit me. Not right now with this bloat going on. Hey. Yep, Tommy does. He lives on a coast and he does what we do. He just increases it a dollar. No, we don't enter dimensions on first class. Nope. We enter nothing. Nothing. You lose. Good day. <clears throat> okay yeah we have a video that does all the um the prices that we do for our it's the same as tommy's though it's exactly the same 5.99 we recommended 5.99 because people don't we do exactly in what he said except ours is uh no it is 14.99 so we do 14.99 for boots 12.99 for shoes and suit jackets Eight ninety nine, anything that can fit in a padded flat rate that's over a pound, and we do four ninety nine first class, which I do think gives us a little bit of an edge. Uh, but that's it. We have exactly the same pricing system, and he lives on a coast. We do sell slightly different items, but we sell much more first class, I'm guessing, than Tommy does. Yeah, I'm sure that's right. <laughs> I 
think it's Hawaiian because when you go to like, okay, any Hawaii's here? Check in, please. <laughs> Hawaiian lurkers, we need you. Full side slit. See, I think it's this. I might just use that title. He said I'd send at least two first class a week. Girl, we send like 20 a day. If we Everything we send is first class. We don't send 20 any, out any day, like 10 a day. Today we sent the smallest stuff you ever saw in your life. It was like the tiniest. <laughs> Today was the day of all the tiny sales. Oh, so Cynthia breaks it down even more. She does under eight ounces. See, we can't do that. Mm-mm. <laughs> I mean, we when I say we can't, we could. We definitely could. Do we want to spend the time to do it? It would just take, like, we would have to communicate more. It's just, we can barely, like, multitask as it is. We would have to communicate more. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> I know, I'm hearing that back, and I'm like, hey. Dang, what is wrong with me? That's harsh. Not what I, I didn't mean it to sound like that. <laughs> but you know what I mean, like. I'd have to be like, what, what do I do for the shipping here? We're kind of independent right now. I'll just wait for the pictures. They're coming. Well, I don't even have a listing going yet. I'm going to yeah. steal this one. There's no tie waist though, right? No. It's not a wrap skirt. Can it open up all the way? No. It's got it's got two buttons mm -hmm. on this side and a zipper that opens to about here. So you can get in it and mm -hmm. close it. And then it's got the zipper on this side that it opens from here all the way up to there. But it, it, there's no wrap capability. No. Faux wrap. Oh, this is what I want. We don't have a size. It's like an extra, extra small. Yeah, it gotta be. Okay, what's the number? 5578. We only go thrifting on the weekends now, and I just don't know if we're going to go. What's the waist? 24. I don't know if we're going to go. I'm just like... We need to, we need to project this weekend. We need, we to, need to project. We have to do the garage in the heat. No. It's only going to get hotter. Really? I mean, this week is... We could probably put it off till next week, but then we'll miss both trash. Yeah, we can't miss both trash. Yeah, I mean, this, this whole week's going to be miserable. No, oh, great. It's going to be awesome. Just like every other day in Texas. Oh! Yay! Yay. Somebody can come up here, why don't you move? <laughs> I'm trying! <laughs> We're trying to figure it out, okay? God, it's harder than, than it sounds. I know. Um, You can send them. I need to stay in there. Absolutely. Posing. I only spent one dollar all week thirty. Wow. No. Kyle, don't do that. Tommy gonna come up in here. You can. What? <laughs> can I use priority Tyvek for box in a bag on pirate ship asking for a really dumb friend? Okay, here's the deal with box in a bag. I'm gonna lay it out for you. Lay it out. And Tommy going he gonna support me in this because it's the God's honest truth. The bag is wasting you money. Just send it in the box. Box inside of a bag is the same price as box without a bag. It's the same price. It's the same price. <laughs> <laughs> it is. If you are, in fact, measuring your poly mailer flat. The way open, flat, open, and empty. You got to measure your poly mailer flat. Not with something in it. That makes it a different measurement. Don't do that. You got to measure it just like flat because it's you know 12 by 18 or whatever they say 
once you put something in there, like if you had an actual 12 by 18 with something in it, it's actually like a 24 by 24. People be using a 24 by 24 and then putting something in there and being like, see, when I thought it, it's 18. No. <laughs> no. Even Pirate Ship has Whoa, this whole website on like, you don't really need the bag, kids. <laughs> Fam, stop using the bag. It's the same price. I mean, you could just use a bag. No box. I get that. Right. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> the only time I would use a poly mailer over a box is if, like, the box was, like, oh, cat so... litter or tampons or something. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, man. Box in a bag works, like, 2% of the time. Amen. You don't need it. It's just cubic. Come on. You could do it. But they, but they put it there, and it makes it so appealing to people that just want to game this system it's just so appealing oh he got the little open side should i do that as the cover photo which one do i do <laughs> what's up matt hello <clears throat> No, I got you, poly bag, but the bag over the box is what I'm saying. Pirate Ship has made public statements on this. <laughs> Whatever goes in the bag, if it's in a box, it's the same price as if it has a bag or no bag. I don't even know why they do bag in a box. You don't need the bag. They say you don't need the bag, and then they advertise it as bag in a box. box in the bag. I mean, box in a bag. <laughs> And then they're like, but you don't need the bag. Bag in a box is like coffee and wine. Mm, coffee, wine. <laughs> <laughs> I like all of those things. Right. Mm. All right. I'm going right. to stop talking about things I don't really care about. I'm sorry, guys. We don't even use Pirate Ship. I need to stop. I need to stop. All right. All right. All right. Okay. We keep trying to use Pirate Ship. It just doesn't work out. Side zip. Both sides zip. One zips from the waist halfway down, and the other side is a full zip. We're dancing, baby! <laughs> Put that. <laughs> You're wrong with me. Is that first class? Can you measure that skirt? I know it's kind of heavy. Hmm. Because YouTubers need things to talk about. Hmm. Two. Truth. Hat lapel pin go in on eBay. Hmm. Men's accessories? 14.4. <laughs> Kyle said, I need to save on shipping. I sell pingers. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Fingers. I love fingers. I love this term so much. Clothing hats accessories. That's what I thought. Accessories? Is this is this confession? I have eight contractor bags of clothing in our SUV. I have no place to put them. So ashamed. So we did have eight bags of clothing in our SUV and oh, now Lord. it's in our living room. Because we have nowhere to put it. So it's dead in the middle of our living room. Like that's where we live. We just like sidestep it to go to the couch. We are like proper hoarders right now. It's fine. We're not alone. Just bring it in your house and be a hoard. Start the hoard. Okay. Um, what is this? This is the thing I bought. Nautica? What is this? Boss? It's boss. Yeah. Boss. Slip it. Button down. PK shirt. PK. I don't know if anyone's going to use that on the title. I need to like, take that out. Shirt, it's a casual shirt, right? Mm -hmm. Dress shirt? Yeah. Well, no. I don't know. They us dress shirt size is weird. I have a three car garage full. We win. It's not going to be full after this weekend. We're oh. going to be ruthless. Oh, God. <clears throat> it's called the Jason shirt. I think. Oh. I 
I don't see any Jason shirts. Okay. Are you sure it's called the Jason shirt? That's what the tag says. Is it a button down collar? No. I paid a hundred damn dollars for this shirt. I'm so mad. I don't even want to talk about it. I want to spit. Pissed. For a stupid actor. <sighs> I'm about to throw something. Breaking glass, like James says, it's gonna happen. Yep. A hundred dollars. It's not worth anything. Nope. It seriously would be worth like twenty dollars. Oh my if that. If that that's ridiculous. Retail pricing is out of control. Is it a knit? Is there any kind of knit stretch to this? Yeah. yeah, this is a knit. Okay. So that might help it sell. Is it slim fit? Mm -hmm. Guy was slim. <laughs> this is a little bit hard to look up right now because long sleeve and there's no comms yeah I agree people don't browse eBay no one's looking in categories I agree with this 100% yep mm -hmm. what size is it 43 17 extra freaking long yeah i'm sorry i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure what the numbers correspond to gotta be large gotta be large or extra large it's 22 in the chest so apparently i call that extra large Maybe 43 is the chest in the neck. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, actually from the seam to seam. So it's extra large? Good night, Cynthia. Oh, men's jewelry. Okay. <clears throat> She's like, oh, my house is full. My garage is full. Full. Oh. Can't walk. Everyone can't walk in their garages. Oh, thank you. Not just us. I feel so seen. <laughs> okay, what number is this? 5579. Okay, Kyle. How do we get you from Stop Selling Pingers? This is my mission. If you haven't been watching our YouTube videos on the other channel, and if you're not in our Facebook group, my mission is to get people to buy and sell things that have a high sell-through rate. So how can I help you? How can I facilitate this? I'm telling you, it's changed our game. We used to be like, eh, we have it. Let's list it. Now we're like, eh, it's not worth it. Donate it back. Sure That's what I'm saying. That's no. why I had to get it. That's why I had to get it. Extra long sleeves. Whoa. I told you. That's why I had to pay a hundred freaking fracking dollars. Oh, carnage from a garage sale. See. Oof. Matt, thank you. Exactly. He said, donate all your pingers. Don't buy pingers anymore. You, But this is what people do. And I know this because I did it for years. I know about sell-through rate. But I go to the store and I don't look things up. I go on my quote-unquote knowledge. And I'm like, oh, this brand's good. And you buy it. And that style of that brand ain't good. And you get it home. And that's what I think is the true definition of a pinger. Yeah, and you're like, ah, pinger. <laughs> 
<laughs> Stop getting surprised when you get home to your computer. Do it at the store. And on the converse side of that, look up things you don't know about because you could be real surprised. It happens to us every single time we're at the store now because we're looking everything up. So while you got your phone out, you're like, oh, I might as well look this up too. And then you're like, whoa, new brand, new brand alert. Yep. It's great. And then the stuff that's like that, that you haven't heard of sells really quickly because people have saved searches on it because they're waiting for something to pop up and you have it. You're like, yes. <laughs> Thrifting is more fun when you're looking stuff up because the treasure hunt is happening in the store, not at your computer where you can like take the gamble and lose. Well, I don't think you need to recognize brands, Kyle. I think you need to recognize quality. And um, what I would do if I were you and you really are into clothes, like you want to get into clothes, I would go to the mall and I would feel everything. I would go in the most expensive stores at the mall where you live or like the outdoor or the outlets or wherever you live. I don't know. And I would touch everything because you can feel quality. The clothes are markedly heavier or lighter, one or the other. Sometimes yeah. it's like so lightweight and airy, you can't even believe it's fabric. And sometimes a sweater will weigh like 10 pounds. And you're like, whoa. And you just feel it. You can feel the smoothness of something. High-end clothes are smoother or they're extra textured. They're always something really, really unique about the way they feel. And I can guarantee you can go through a thrift store faster on feel than you can on looking at every tag. For sure. Get all the things that feel really, really nice and heavy or really, really nice and lightweight and airy and put them in your cart and then go to a corner and look them up. I think it's... I'm doing a video on it. It's just, I'm making you a video. <laughs> I swear you can get through the whole store faster. Even these big old Texas stores, you can get them through them so quickly if you're just going on feel. You can start to feel a polyester like Forever 21 piece a mile away. And you're like, whoop, not that one. Alfred Dunner pants, whoop, not that one. I'm telling you. Are you going to miss some things? There'll probably be a one-off that's like a cheap brand and it's a bolo. Yeah. But you're also going to go through the whole store and find all the good stuff. That's what I think. I agree with that. That's what we think. What should I list this shirt out? I paid a hundred dollars for it. I have a really hard time. Thirty nine ninety five. Yes. Oh, we really put on the tickets for cost of goods. It was a hundred dollars. I didn't get reimbursed for the shirt, Dang. but we didn't pay for it out of the business account. I don't think. I don't care. Did we? We may have. I mean, it was for the show, so probably. <laughs> Some of the things I get as an artist. Dang, hundred dollars. That's not gonna look good in our books. Nope. That's why I quit theater. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, hold on. I gotta catch up on the comments here. Yeah, no problem. Oh no, not you. I was telling. <laughs> No problem. <laughs> no problem. Hey, <laughs> yes. So this guy, he had like very long limbs and his torso was very, very long. So I had to get him every shirt I got him that said it was extra long when it got here from the Internet. It didn't fit him. And so I was over budget and I had to go to Nordstrom Rack. I measured every single shirt. Well, Dan helped me. We measured every single shirt in the men's section. This is literally the only one. This shirt has, I think, 38 inch arms, 39, 39. inch, 39 inch arms, and it barely fit him. He still had to roll up the sleeves. And uh, I think his arms are like 40 inches long or maybe 41. Anyway, it was $100. I had the show open the next day. I had no choice. I had to buy it. And so I told her I went over budget. She's like, can't go over budget. And I said, well, then I'm taking the $100 shirt with me. And she was like, okay, that's a deal. That, and I got paid, what did I get paid for that show? $800? $800. For my work on the show and i had to take this hundred dollar shirt home negative money don't i quit theater i quit i'm not doing it anymore i did <clears throat> my friend called me today about a film and she's like do you want to work on a film do you have theater work i'm like i quit theater let's go what do you need quit i'm not doing it i won't do it don't do it in this shirt the pictures are not giving the shirt justice yeah. I'm going to mark it at 59, so it'll just sit here, and we can look at it a little bit longer. It's on 2X, at 1X, right? What uh, are we going to call this? 1X? Extra large? No. no it's... It, yeah, extra large. Yeah. <laughs> no! Not, not, yeah. 
<laughs> he said no. <laughs> Damn. No. Don't do it. Okay, maybe somebody will like it because it's long. Look at this median sold price, nine ninety nine. Oh, good. And I'm Lord. I'm putting this at sixty dollars. Oh. I just did it. I just did it. Oh. Ah, I gotta try to make some money back. Can <laughs> you feel quality? I just touch myself and compare. <laughs> James, you're killing me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, my ear feels better quality than this one in the Halloween section. <laughs> Kyle said, I buy pinger clothes in bulk from two thrift stores. I'm getting the feel of the fabric. Good. Yep, I sold barely their theory silk tops on Threadup for over $150. I love that. You can feel it. It's so nice. I love theory, the way theory feels. It's The, the resale value is not always great. On that brand, but some of it's amazing. I think you might be surprised, Summer. There's a lot of brands that we find um, by feel that are not, you know, well known. You might be surprised. You might should just maybe just try it once. Like go to a thrift store with that in mind and try it. Particularly in menswear too. Yeah. You can feel a nice sport coat from a mile away. And normally they're hiding. And even if you have to pay $20 for it, because some thrift stores, like I think Megan was describing or somebody was describing that lived yeah. in the Midwest, how like their thrift stores price suits up. So you might want to pay a little more. But if you're looking at a $200 return, you know, if it's really nice, it might be worth it. All right. I'm still getting caught up. No problem. No, I'm telling them <laughs> that dang state sale today. I can't find comps on any of these pins. Is it reasonable to just do a lot of 13 pins? I paid $2 for mixed types, however, rodeo, can candles and states. I think it might be. Um, I, I was over budget. I only had $800 to costume um, eight people. In 60s clothes. Go In ahead. 60s clothes, and they all had to have brand new shoes. Socks, underwear, undershirts. Jackets, overcoats, the whole thing. I cannot believe I only had an eight hundred dollar budget. It was insane. I'm going through ten to twenty trash bags a week now. One of the nonprofits is letting me volunteer sorting the donations, and they said I can buy all the pre rec stuff I want. So I need to learn brands. Okay, Kyle, I'm gonna make you a manifesto this weekend. It's not gonna be pretty, but it's gonna be a list of like what I would be looking for. Like if you were just looking for brands. No pingers. Like, br I'm going to make you a list of brands that will never ping. Pinger-free brands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gold Rush shows. And bye, James. Brands that will never ping. Pingless. That's so funny. We're going we're gonna to come up with a really good name for it. Banger brands. Only bangers. No pingers. All right, what are you listing over here? Yours, I think. Knitted and knotted. One arm through over the shoulder. Uh, okay. Whoa. Sweater Did I not list these pants? Which pants? I listed those free people pants. Let's get something. I don't know. I'm going to check this again. <laughs> Pringler's list. <laughs> Stop in that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gonna... that's good. I'm going to make this list. I'm determined now. Big money, no whammy list. I love it. Oh, I love it. Because it could be men's and women's. Yeah, big money, no pingers. Big money, no pingers. Yes. What? How did you even take a picture of this? I'm... I just it. I'm a hanger. Is it just one arm? Yeah. Like, how do I look this up? It's what just is one this? arm and then like a shoulder cape out situation. Is this a cape? Should I not put sweater? Cape? I mean, poncho? I don't know, mama. Ponchos are longer. What is this thing? <laughs> this didn't used to be yours? No, I think I'd have to throw it up. No. You love knitted and knotted, though. You write about that. There's no, there's no um, turtleneck on it, right? No, there's not. Oh, right here, look. Braiding one shoulder sweater, knitted and knotter. Knitter. 
man, not a <laughs> no <laughs> whammies. <laughs> okay, it looks way better in the stock photo. Look at this thing. This is not how it's done. <laughs> it looks in real life. It's like you know what you order, what you get. What? Oh yeah. This is not looking like that in real that's life. That's how that's supposed to wear. You're supposed to wear this thing like I get, that. I get. Isn't it this? Yeah. Well, does it have slit in the side like that? Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm gonna add it to the Facebook group. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it everywhere if I make it. Now I gotta make it good. Dang it. Why is this not saving? Like My computer's being weird. Ugh, both your computers? What, what? I cannot believe this is how you wear this thing. I know. Nuts. Did you really not bring a box? I really did not. I put it away when we were shipping it. Then... You know. And you almost died. Well, yeah. Should you said. But did you die? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that got me good. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's my freaking favorite. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, God, I love him. Yeah, I should put it on the Facebook group and have people add to it because I don't know everything. You guys know that. You guys know a lot more than me. We could all add to it or debate it. What size is, is that extra small? Extra, extra small. Extra. Oh, it's extra small. What am I doing? Listing. Create listing. I totally forgot what I was doing. Yeah, I got it on a hanger, and I didn't. I didn't really. It looks weird, kind of. You got stock photo now, so that's good. <laughs> it's not gonna ever sell, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's a pinger. This is a pinger. Dang it! <laughs> You're about to die. But did you die? <laughs> Kind of cavey. Get out of here. I feel too um, self-conscious to do a list, like a formal one. Because I feel like people are going to be like, no! <laughs> you ready for pictures? I'm, uh, yeah, I just send them. Okay. Do you know what I mean, though? I feel, like, kind of vulnerable. If it's for yeah. the group, it's fine. Like, here, guys. Here's what I think. But to, like, put it out there. To be like, here's my manifesto. I don't think I have the confidence to do that. Like, on my list would be Eileen Fisher. And then you'd have the people that would be like, that doesn't move. And I'd be like, okay, well, watch my what's holds every single day. <laughs> you know what I mean? There would be that kind of, like kick back from it. I don't think I could take it. I think I'm too I'm too weak. Mm -mm. Maybe if I did it from our data, I could do it. True. Like from our souls. Because I mean, there's a lot of brains that we don't know or find yet either. That are probably pretty good. Right, but how would I add them to a list if I don't know? Them? <laughs> My husband's so sweet. <laughs> He's, he's just so sweet. I don't know how I would do it. I'm sorry. Mm, okay, it's happening. Where'd my people go? I lost them. I lost my people. Lost you guys, sorry. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. I have a Bolo brand list that I'm calling from things resellers told me. I'll put a copy in the group. They can hack it away. Oh, that's great. I love that. Yeah, Thrifty Lives did a menswear manifesto. Yep. And there are things on the menswear manifesto that we don't agree with. I'm not gonna go out and like publicly be like, wait, I agree with this. I think it's a really good place to start though, for sure. That's why I'm hesitant to put something out, because then you have to be like this is the authority. And there, it's always going to change. 
I'm sure when that was made, things we would have, you know what I mean? But it's I'll make so, it for it's you so guys. It's hard to do that for, for reselling because trends and styles. They and, always be changing. It goes so fast. Go so fast. So fast. Yeah, that's true. Everyone should do their due diligence. That's true with everything. I like that. Would this purse not polish with this for? Fifty-four dollars. Oh, Good new attack. Low. New tax. Oh, freaking out, man. I think it's worth like twenty-four ninety-five. Seriously though. Pinger here. Oh, did you measure? Can you weigh? Way the sweater and way anything that's it. kind of heavy. No, my ass is. Okay. All right, what's this thing? Oh, this it's the super long, the sleeve. super long sheer sleeve. Why is the sleeve so long? Intimately free people. I I couldn't tell you. I don't know. They're like ruffled or ruched or ruched. Here I am minding my own business, photographing a metallic vintage winter sweater with a when a spider jets out from behind the no, shelf and tries to God, kill me. No. <gasps> no. Oh, <laughs> I would die. No, uh -uh. no. Dan and I are both terrified of spiders. He's way more scared than me, though. Free people, right? <laughs> Mesh sleeves. What is this thing? Face. Uh -huh. oh. hmm, there it is. Medium slash large. Scrunch me. Literally, is that what it's called? Scrunch me. Because you found it. No, yeah, well, I found it. Well, you found it. Small, medium. No. What did you say? Medium large. Medium large. Okay. It's called scrunch me or something. Scrunch me. Oh, scrunch mesh. It cut off. <laughs> it cut off. I'm dead. What is it? Scrunch what? Mesh. Scrunch me. I like that better. <laughs> Hi, moms. How are you? Hey, Tony. Hello. Tell me about, tell me about the shirt you listed. I didn't see the picture there. Oh, we just listed a shirt called Finamore. That's the brand. It's it's a high end brand from um, Italy. Medium large, right? Medium large. That's the stretch. Because the measures are pretty. Oh yeah, very very stretchy. <laughs> stretch. Super. Ah. Hi, Chris. Want to say hi? <laughs> hi. Cute. So, Kyle, when you said you did a Patagonia button up, was it worth money? Because I don't find that those are worth money. That's one of the brands where style matters so freaking much. A lot of Patagonia is not worth anything, in my opinion. Fenimore high-end brand. <laughs> yes. They, it's handmade. I know. Very, very nice, expensive shirt maker. Ooh, Danielle picked up a few plush today. Uh -oh. You're going to do great, kid. What do you call... Oh, God. Matt's got jokes. What do you call a, psych, a little person psychic that broke out of prison? A small medium at large. <laughs> Stop. That's a dad joke. Super dad. Okay, what what is the number on this? Fifty five eighty one. <clears throat> oh, you said Pataloa. I thought you said Patagonia. Sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. Five five eight one. Okay. 
Um, Mom, we're cleaning the garage. Ugh. This weekend is the worst. <clears throat> we're going to use that gift card, though. Yeah. It's true. Sunday. Oh, thanks, Megan. I'll check it out. Is it, like, editable? Okay, well, Kyle, ignore what I said about it, because I thought you had written Patagonia. And their button-downs are not worth jack. Which is why it wouldn't make my menswear manifesto. You see what I'm saying? It wouldn't make it. Wouldn't make it. Wouldn't make the cut. <laughs> You need to make the lint rolls. Jeez, you need to make the sweater shave and all the things. This thing is rough. Kurt this Cobain would have loved it. We should list it with the Kurt Cobain shirt. <laughs> should we? Let's put it on underneath it. This thing is like rough. All right. Just sitting here listening on a Friday with the with the cool kids, y'all. Yeah, because right. we're making money. It's always cool. Okay, cool. She kept her original separate. Dig into that list if you're in our group. If you're not in our group, what are you doing? <laughs> Even if you don't do Facebook, it's worth it for the group just to check in with that. The group's been quiet lately, though, except yeah, for that is. those underwear from the bins today sent me oh. over the edge. No. Oh, my God. Someone posted the underwears from the bins that were on the floor, and they were all ugh, gross. Oh. Hey, you got to keep that thing really flat, says me, who has destroyed things. And I need pictures. I'll try to listen. That's how my date's going. And I put in the wrong pictures. What? Not receive pictures. I put in the wrong ones. You want to send them again? Yeah, yeah. They ain't sensing. I don't know. I guess he's vacuuming. <laughs> the sleeves are so long. <laughs> Why does it look, look like this? I don't know which is the front, which is the back. <laughs> Maybe you should have gotten that shirt for your guy with the long arms. <laughs> you right? That's hilarious. What if I walked in with that? Hey. Man, his arms are so long. I wish I had a stock photo of this shirt it is never going to sell <laughs> ever you hear me I hear you. oh i found it yes this thing is the most killiest i've ever seen in anything okay
Poshmark always comes through. Except that your computer won't let me save anything. It's really great. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Can I drag this into my listing? No. Jesus. Okay. I found a stock photo. Oh, and now the photos aren't loading. Okay. All right. I can do this. The regular Patagonia should be as good as North Face or REI, especially if the if it's organic cotton. I think that Patagonia, North Face, and REI are not good brands to pick up. I said it. I said it. You have to look every single piece up. Most REI is like 20 bucks max that I've ever looked up. I don't know about in general. You know what I'm saying? And we've sold REI and it's always been like 20 bucks. Same thing with North Face. And their North Face is like all Vero crazy. So, I, eh. Well, let me add photos. Your computer real weird. Sorry. Sexy. <laughs> That's the theme. <laughs> What's the theme? Sexy. <laughs> Oh, I pull it up on the phone, always do a screenshot on phone, then add it to the list. That's a good idea. Huh. Need to learn about integrating the phone into this workflow. Good luck, right? Yes. Dan is over here just shaving away. Well, I love it. I got to. You got to, mister. Mm -hmm. Have we even comped this thing? Do we even know? Oh. What? No, no, no. Yeah, on my computer, it lets me click the button that says add photo, and then I can, like, grab yeah. it from my desktop. I don't know why it doesn't on Mine's here. Mine's been acting up today. Oh, it's just today? Yeah, I got to, like, reset Chrome or something. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that is just a long sleep. I know. I shouldn't have bought it. I don't even know if I did buy it. I don't know where I came from. Was that for you? Yeah. That's why I had to find a stock photo. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. <laughs> it's so stupid. All right, did you lint roll too? Or you just tried to shave mm. off the lint? I lint rolled also. You did? I did. Just kind of stuck in there. So you got to fold these up like the 80s. See how it's exposed. Mm -hmm. It's just the eyes of a grandpa cardigan, but but how much my favorite is Ben's? It's yeah, Ben's. It's a... it's a nylon, right, or acrylic? Acrylic. I'm gonna sell the crap out of this thing. You better, you better. You just worked so hard on it. I mean, it still needs to be lint rolled a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> what in the world? <coughs> Got a frog in my throat. Oh, <laughs> no. Say it ain't so. <coughs> I wish this was eyes odd. Uh, what you gonna call it? Not the alligator. Lacoste. Yes, that. 
I wish it was. It is not. It is not, unfortunately. What size is it? <clears throat> I believe it's a large. I'll confirm in just a second. I'm going to put this as grunge 90s because this was like the exact sweater that Kurt Cobain used to wear all the time. That's why I got it. And I'm just going to try to like sell it with keywords. This is probably not going to sell on eBay. I'm going to price it higher than the other stuff on eBay, depending on how the photos look. Yeah, large 100% print. The ones I saw at uh, Lacoste are good. That combo, they can be really good. the number uh, 5582 oh yeah they think you're breathing in a lint oh shit <clears throat> that's probably what's happening huh could be Putting all that weird stuff here, I know I'm not supposed to do that. It's not it's not a good look. But when people are looking on their phone, that's what comes up. The condition field. So anything you want them to see, like you put it right there. Mm -hmm. If you put it down here, they're never going to see it. Ever. Because most people shop on their phone. Too. Yep. Colorado, I think. Think. Okay. I need a wait on that. <laughs> Kyle just said, I just sold a puffer vest in July headed to Houston. Good luck predicting humans. Exactly right. I love when that happens. <clears throat> Maybe they're going on a trip to southern Brazil. Or an Alaskan cruise. You never know. Never know. Or maybe they're moving to Norway or Denmark. <laughs> Very specific. What was I just... You were going to measure the weight. The weight, right. The weight, Annie. Just shipped a 90s leather women's duster coat to Australia today via GSP. Nice. Well, that's perfect. GSP in Australia, that's great. It's not great for them. It's great for you. I can't believe we still have not cleared this rack. 13 ounces. So you think we'll be okay first class? Yes. <clears throat> we did seven yeah wow yep okay and then with your three glasses we got the ten Boom. this guy let me just tell you about this guy Picture's coming. I think I have enough drops to not list tomorrow. But I think we're going to list Sunday. Uh. 
That's what I try to tell you. We gotta get we gotta get ahead over the week. Or this is what happens. This is what happens. All right, check in time. What'd you get done? What'd you get done tonight? Buddy. List it. I think we got seven, which is okay. We got to a slow start. Yeah. No, maybe eight. I think that looks like eight. Does it? We might have a five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yes. See, see, see. Most of those ones earlier. Hey, could have had one in the bank. You could have had one. <laughs> All right, I'm going to import these. Five listed, four photographed. That's amazing. eBay. Oh, good. Storage building halfway sorted. That's awesome. That's even better, actually. I guess. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> what are you sorting? I kind of want to make a video. I want to know. Oh, I could get down with these Wayfarers. You didn't tell me you had Tortoise Wayfarers. God. Those aren't Wayfarers. Huh? Those aren't Wayfarers. Oh, those aren't Wayfarers. They're half Wayfarers. They're the Clubmaster oversized. <laughs> you came out with some terminology. <laughs> Whoa. Are those what Steve wears? There's a tortoise on the top and then the wire on the bottom. I don't know. Is my mom here? Maybe. I think, I think they're very similar. To what well, he got a birthday coming up. Why, why are you leaving me with glasses? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. The gradient. I don't know if you like the gradient. Oh, he was born in the 70s. He loved it. <laughs> <laughs> he had the gradient his whole life. Okay. Text a picture to my mom and say, does he want these, you think? She's awake. She's awake. She was just on paper. Well, it's a hoard where? In, in your store? You have a storage building or is a storage unit or something? Good night. Summer, right? Megan said, three kids in bed, one bowler brand list shared, and three cost posted. That's awesome. Oh, you did 11 photos and six listings earlier. Great. As long as you're getting them done. <laughs> Kyle said four tacos eaten. <laughs> Dead. Two pastor, two asada. <laughs> Uh, I got three drafts done. All the bad buys of the day. I needed them out of here ASAP. It's embarrassing. Yep, get them out of here. That's how I feel. Yeah, Joe got five listed to eBay and yesterday five cross posted to Mercari and Poshmark. That's excellent. That's so good. Cross posting saves you when you don't have time to list, man. It de definitely it counts. I bought a custom build storage building into my yard. Hmm. We don't have a yard. Not really. 12 by 24. We definitely don't have that size of a yard. Nope. If she says yes, you better take them down quick before they sell. Well, that right. I can't believe you knew the exact name of that weirdo. I, just today. I still wouldn't have known. I would have been like, ah, I know the ones that were. We'll, I, we'll have to check to see if they'll fit his face, though. Because <laughs> they're all different lengths. Really? Absolutely. That's what I learned today. Those numbers on the, on the what do you call that? On the temple arm. <laughs> well, <That's... laughs> this is why you're good at this kind of stuff. Because I would <laughs> not, I don't have a page. I'm like, mm hmm. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Temple arm. All right, y'all. We're going to bed. We out. Have a great weekend. Wonderful weekend, everybody. Um, are we going to be here Monday? This is your call. I don't know. 
Monday's the old man's birthday. I don't know. I don't know if I want to work on my birthday. It's also free Slurpee Day. Can I, can I reserve? We might be here Monday. We might not. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> it's always a surprise. You never know what you're going to get. That's right. Every, yeah. Me. <laughs> Bye, guys.